In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new way how to monetize AI art. Every other method out there that I have seen so far is going to tell you to generate images using AI tools, for example, like Mid Journey, where you can very easily in just a couple of seconds generate these beautiful looking images. But the entire point in monetizing it consists of generating them completely for free and then selling them for a couple of dollars. And if you're going to follow those methods, you will find them oversaturated and not working anymore. But in today's video, I'm going to show you a complete step-by-step -step tutorial showing you a brand new way how you can monetize AI art where you get to generate something that you can actually hold in your head starting just from a single comment to the AI generator. So just make sure to hit the like button under this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell and do let me know down in the comments what's your favorite AI art generator. So just comment down below and now just let's get started. Before we get started I want to tell you guys that I still got a couple of spots open left in my coaching program so if you want to learn the exact same method that I'm using myself to generate over $7,000 per month with affiliate marketing without showing my face anywhere on the internet without using any of my social media or this YouTube channel for that matter and I'm still getting results just like this every single month consistently just go to the first link in the video description and check out a short interaction video that I have prepared for you and I hope to see you there okay guys so first of all for today's method I want you to go to your favorite AI art generator I've been using Blue Willow lately for many of my different projects and I find it very easy to work with because it's the exact same thing think as my journey but it's still free. Ever since Mid Journey has moved to the paid plan, I've been using Blue Willow for many of my different projects and it has worked for me flawlessly. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this on Blue Willow AI. But if you have another AI art generator that you want to use, it's going to work just as well. For those of you who will be using Blue Willow for this, what you want to do is pretty much sign up for your account and then join Discord free beta because this AI bot is working on Discord just as Mid Journey. Once you sign up for your Blue Willow account and you join their Discord, what you want to do is go to one of these rookie rooms or rookie channels where you can start generating images just like this just from a single comment prompt you will be able to generate these beautifully looking AI images that you can use for whatever you want because because AI art is not copyrightable because it's AI generated it isn't protected by US copyright laws so you can pretty much go ahead and generate these images and do whatever you want with them now in today's video I'm going to show you how to start monetizing these images without having to sell them on mass with actually giving them a purpose and creating something that you can hold in your hand once you're going to follow this video from beginning to the end. But actually this method is going to work completely hands off without you having to touch the product at all. What you want to do is go to this uh, Blue Willow bot and you want to start generating AI art. Now I have tried this method before, so I've got a couple of prompts that I'm going to use already in my head, but you can literally do this with any prompt out there, but you can literally do this with any image or any prompt that you may want to use if you're going to follow this method exactly how I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to type in there renaissance style pencil drawing on parchment human nervous system anatomically correct medical sketch i'm just going to hit send and i'm going to wait for blue willow ai to generate this image for me and it's going to take a couple of seconds for ai to generate it so i'm just going to wait for it and it's going to generate these very nice looking images based on the comment prompt that i have entered now pretty much this ai is going to generate four images at the same time and what you can do then is choose if you want to upscale or create different versions of one of these now for some reason i want to go with this one right here so I'm just going to press uh, variations of number two and it's going to create different variations of the same image now what I'm going to do is choose one of these that I want to go with for example let's go with uh, this second one once again I'm going to upscale it and once it's going to get upscaled what I'm going to do is open it up and save it to my computer now keep in mind guys you can do this with literally any AI image out there for example if you want to go with something like this for example what this person has created you can go ahead and create literally any type of image that you want to go with and it's going to work still very well but you want to make sure that it's going to be eye-catching so once you generate an AI image that you want to go with and you're going to save it to your computer what you want to do is go to this website right here that's called bookbolt.io if you are going to join bookbolt just go to the video description where i'm going to leave a link for you that you can use to go directly to their website and the folks over at bookbolt will know that i have sent you and you will get a discount for your account so just go to the video description sign up for bookbolt and once you're going to sign into your account and once you're going to get your account what you want to do is log right into it and once you log into your account you can probably guess what we are going to be 
creating on BookBall to monetize the AI art and it's going to be one of these low content books that you can then sell on Amazon for a couple of dollars but because it's going to cost you literally zero dollars in investment to create something like this there's literally no way you're going to lose any money with this and if you're going to create something that people will actually want to buy for example if you're going to check out this very simply looking drawing pad for kids which is pretty much like a blank paper sketchbook for kids and the only thing that you need to create for this is this cover and for that we are using the AI generated images and as you can see right here these are selling anywhere between five to six to seven dollars but because it's very easy to generate this low content book right here on BookBolt and then list it on Amazon you can go ahead and create multiple of these in one single day and if just one of these is going to catch up and start selling hundreds of copies you're going to make literally thousands of dollars per week by doing this so what you want to do to start creating such a book on BookBolt for yourself you just go to this toolbar on the left side and click on this research button and you want to switch to create then just click on BookBolt Studio and you want to create a new project from scratch. What I highly recommend is that you select paperback for your interior and cover because that way you can keep the cost of printing this book as low as possible and for the project name you want to select something that you want to go with. Now because I have generated this uh, renaissance style pencil drawing of a human skeleton which is looking a little bit creepy now I come to notice it. So I'm just going to generate something that's going to be in theme with this image. So I'm just going to name it something like pencil sketchbook because that way I can keep the content of the book to a low minimum so it's going to be mostly blank paper and for this trim size you can just go ahead and copy one of these sizes of these different books that are already out there so for example this book is uh, 100 pages eight and a half inches by 11 inches so I'm going with something similar I'm just going to select 8 by 10 inches okay then I'm going to select the type of the paper okay then I'm going to select page count and I'm going to put it to 100 if you're going to be creating these low content books you want to keep this below 110 10 pages because that way you will keep the cost to a bare minimum but if you're going to exceed 110 pages the cost is going to be a little bit higher for that reason I highly recommend that you go with something like 100 105 pages at most and once you do that you want to click on create project and now you get to design your very own sketchbook completely from scratch first of all I'm going to add a color background to this by pressing this button and because I'm going to use this image on the cover of my book I want to go with some color that's resembling this uh, background of the skeleton something like this for example then I'm going to go to these uh, shapes and I'm going to place say for example a rectangle on there to generate the outlines of the sketchbook that I'm going to be creating so I'm just going to position it something like this for example and I'm going to change its color to red red just like that then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom portion as well just like that okay then I'm going to position yet another one and this time I'm going to put it right in the middle so it's going to be on the fold of the book so it's going to mark the center of the book where it's going to be folded something like this for example then what you want to do is click on this image button in the toolbar and you want to upload the image from the AI generator that you want to go with and then you want to position it on the cover as well so I'm just going to place it in there something like this because I want to keep this space open and I'm going to show you why in just a minute but now I'm just going to stretch this image across this entire cover of the book something like this for example then I'm going to go back to discord to the blue willow bot and I'm going to generate something like this for example you can see I'm keeping it in the same theme of this uh, renaissance parchment drawing pencil drawing because I want to create a notebook that's going to be designed for pencil drawing so I'm just going to upscale one of these images for example let's go with uh, this number three just like that then I'm just going to save it to my computer then just upload it to bookboard and then place it on a book cover just like this now that I'm looking at it it doesn't really fit well with this first image so I'm just going to get rid of this one by deleting it go back to blue willow and I'm going to select another image from the same batch that I have created and uh, for example let's go with uh, this guy right here so I'm just going to upscale that one you see this is a very creative process you have to go through some trial and error to find the best fitting images for this because you're actually creating a work of art so it's going to take some trial and error then I'm going to place it on the book cover just as well and what I'm going to do next is go to these uh, these elements and I'm going to find this uh, chat box shape and place it on the cover just like this so it's going to be acting like a place to write down your name or the purpose of this 
sketchbook, pretty much this is going to be looking like a legitimate sketchbook or notebook that you can use even in school if you want to. So that's the aim that I got for this design. Now for the sake of not making this video too long, I'm going to leave it at what it is right now because this design is looking pretty good in my opinion, but it could look a little bit better. So if you're going to be doing this method and creating these book covers with AI art, what you want to do is make it as interesting as possible. So it's going to be looking like something that people actually want to purchase. What I'm going to add in there is a bunch of these lines. So it's going to create some space for people to write down their name or uh, purpose for this notebook. But once you finish designing the cover of the book, what you want to do is select first page and you get to design the interior of this sketchbook. All you need for this is just a blank piece of paper to draw on. But on this first page, I'm going to show you at how to add something in case you want to generally like in, in case you want to create like a puzzle book or something like that. What you want to do is click on this uh, maze icon right here and you get to choose from multiple designs of, of templates that you can in there and anything from these mazes to crossword puzzles to journals, calendars, anything that you may want to design. But for this first page, I'm just going to add in there a bunch of lines to write a short introduction in there. And as you can see right here, you can apply it to different pages. For example, if I were to apply it into every second page, just like this, all you need to do is just select every second page. So this is going to act like a place to write down some notes regarding the drawing that's going to be on the empty page next to it. You can also use this button at the top to select the pages that you want to apply the pattern too. So for example, let's say I'm going to add it to every ad page and on every even page, there's going to be a place to make the drawing. So I'm just going to click on next and then you get to design the color, the width, the height and pretty much customize the design of the lines that you're going to that you're going to put in there. So I'm just going to select this color. For example, let's make it dark just like that. Click on submit and it's going to generate on every other page these lines that you can use to write down something. So once you're happy with the design of your low content book, what you want to do is click on download and you want to download this to your computer as a CMYK printed books project. This way it's going to be acting like a format that you can then upload to Amazon and every time somebody's going to order one of these books that you have created, it gets printed based on this blueprint that you're going to upload in there. Now it's going to take a moment for BookBall to convert this and download it to your computer and once it's done, you want to upload it to Amazon KDP to actually start making money with it. Now to actually see the entire process how to upload such a project to Amazon KDP, click on this video right here where I'm going to show you the entire step-by-step -step process in detail so you can go ahead and do it yourself. So just click on this video and I'm going to see you there.